had instant fame the second he was we put him in that fashion show by the next hour when i went to the fashion show after that one everybody was saying who's that boy who's that steven sprout in the early 80s steven sprouse was probably the hottest young designer in north america his offbeat styles inspired by hard rock and rebellion captured the imagination of America's trendiest nightclubbers and the media alike. Yet as quickly as he had risen to the top, Strauss seemed to vanish into thin air. Many say that the painfully shy designer was simply unable to cope with the enormous amount of attention being paid to him. Why do you think the media has latched on to you like that in the first place? I mean, was it just like an inexplicable thing? Yeah, I don't know. It just happened by accident, really. I, it was so why that happened, I don't know. Between his honest modesty and lack of eloquence, Sprouse is quite fortunate that his talent speaks for itself. In 1988, he not only designed the costumes for the film Slaves of New York, but was the role model for one of the main characters. Great! So, uh... I'll give you a call about those hats. Fantastic. Just remember to keep away from fire when you wear this coat. All right? I need help at the door. Five years ago, Sprouse attempted a full-fledged comeback to the fashion world by opening a shop filled with his trademark designs, and the world seemed to be the path to his door. Yet despite all the optimism that Sprouse was finally back to stay, the business folded a few months later for reasons never fully explained. What was the problem? Was it just a technical business thing, or...? Oh, right, that was the time when... That was a few years ago when I just, just needed a break from the fashion thing because it was so intense that... And that's when I was painting, you know, in the past couple of years. I kind of had to go back to that to come up with new fashion stuff, which is kind of what I've done. I've done now. While this kilt, designed for loudmouth rock star Axel Rose, may not exactly put Sprouse back on the fashion map, it is practically the only evidence of the designer's work in the 90s. However, there may be a lot more on its way. Sprouse recently confirmed rumors that he's about to take yet another stab at the fashion business, though he seems intent on keeping most of the details a secret. Here, you can have one preview of the new oh, fashion. Okay. <laughs> it's so... Weird, you won't you won't give it away. I don't think. There, that's the new fashion. Okay, I get you're into silhouettes. Yeah. Oh, I mean, that's for um, for a man or a woman. Or that that a looks woman, like a woman actually. to that's me. A woman. That's definitely shaped like a woman. That's part of the new look. <laughs> it moves. <laughs> wow, it moves. Now, where'd you get the idea for that? While the only thing we got to see for the remainder of our stay was some of Sprouse's artwork from the 70s and 80s, in terms of fashion, it's very possible that Sprouse has a big surprise up his sleeve. Of course, that's only if his habit of not sticking things out doesn't get in the way. What do you think might be different about it this time, though? I mean, it might this be the same kind of thing, like, you know, what, you, you know you'll end up putting out a line and then get fed up and, you know, two months later or something, you, you may leave again, or I guess, who knows? Um, who knows? <laughs> <laughs> French designer Terry Mugler will no longer be presenting his collections at the ready-to-wear shows in Paris. 